Welcome back, everyone. My name is Kylo, and we are continuing with Inscription, Casey's mod. Uh, we are going to start a new run here, and we're going to try out the, the new deck, which later on we're going to be using a lot, but since it's new, we'll try it out. And we got... It's kind of interesting. It's like you lock two instances of the same challenge. More difficult, so... Uh, Add some difficulty to our lives. We need 60 points here. So I think what we'll do, we'll do tougher in the items because I want to avoid using the scale as much as possible and boss just totem fights are just a pain. A colossal pain. But we don't have much option in that, but here we go. Ooh, no bonfire right away. Tricky. Well, not tricky, but just unfortunate. Alright. Ooh, dire wolf. And, um... Magpie. Fantastic. Oh yeah, we are definitely... Bro... Direwolf onto our mantis god. Yeah, usually I'd like to go unkillable, but this will work for us. Alright. Extra hit in. I might want to pack right actually for this run. Or not. Why drag this out any more than we have to? Oh wow, well, not, nothing's great here. Well... Line's better than nothing. Double flying. Alright. Maybe at least we can get lucky with our campfires. That's the one thing though, is with these Casey mods, you're not expected to <laughs> just fly through on your first attempt. It's kind of expected. You're gonna be trying many, many times. Just see. We'll see how far we can go. Obviously, I would love to be able to make it in one shot, but we'll have to see what the cards have for us. Ah, a crouch. Yeah, might as well. Cause there's always something we can use for that. New power up. Okay. Get that mantis guy's strength up there. No, we don't want to risk it. Good. Now I can do eight damage. One turn. Ooh, there's... Ooh, two bonfires in a row. Nice. Yeah. Just need to get five damage on the board. Yeah. Field mice. All right. Oh, come on, ringworm. Come on. 
darn. Alright, well. Gives us a defender anyway. Another health. Alright. How about ringworm number two? What have you got for us? Wow. Wow, that is unfortunate. Guess we best case scenario is we get rid of those two, but alas, we're in trouble. I don't think we're gonna. I don't know. We're gonna have a tough time getting through this. Let's just go for this. See if we can just finish this up quick. Ooh. Um. Oh, I could have done that in a different order, but no. Let's go fish. All right. Good. And we have this. And look at all that. All that beautiful teeth. All of those beautiful teeth. That's what it is. Alright. What do we got? Wow. What's. So many options for cockroach. Um, I guess we'll go with Dire Wolf Club. Really, we just need one cockroach. Okay. Now we need to check our map here. Alright. Items, and we can at least burn... Burn one of those worms. Come on, two... Gotta go with the two costs. We want to try and minimize our one cost cards here. Mr. Worm. Alright. Now if we get some more bonfires, that would actually help us. The last no. Popcorn. Yeah, I'll just get you there. Antis. Hurt. Because it really doesn't matter what we can play any. Yeah, we're just done. I'm glad he doesn't just rip out our teeth when he gets to filling out our side of the scale. Oh. I forgot about the knife. Don't have room. So we'll go with the wolf pelt. Alright. I'm gonna throw the magpie. to our worm because that way if we draw the worm we can at least draw the, the mantis god see just like this the ringworm for the mantis god for the win and really slot two is like the 
Obviously, you gotta play to the board, but that's kind of the ultimate spot you want to keep. Oh, and a trader up there. Bonfire and trader. Perfect. Just awful. So we'll go with the elk. Offense. Okay. We want our mantis god. All right. So now we can do 12 damage in one turn. And I'm not pressing my luck. Oh, we can actually get a totem up and running. That'd be cool. Get a good insect totem going. Aha, take this, Mr. Boulder. Still doing nine. The less time we spend in battle, the better. Okay. Oh boy. Actually, I need to get rid of the fly net and the cockroach. We will do. Snap. Oh, that's right, I only had one. Oh boy. Actually, cat with the search ability, that gives me two one blood searches. That that was actually a nice card for that. Oh, let's see, three blood. Still want insect, I think. We'll go with three blood. Well, I guess we'll see what we get here. Ah, uh, twin strike. Oh, we will. Do I have any birds? I do not. We're gonna go with. Just in case. Yep, there we go. That is how we win this. Hooray! We won. No worm. Uh, and uh, dire wolf pup, I guess. Not really great options there. Okay. Ooh. Rid of a card, but then we get to the belts and then a fusion. Browse for the sacrifice and then get another mantis god. That's what we want to do. Trial of Bones! Huzzah! We won! And now, get rid of that 
Uh, we'll just put it on the field nice. Haven't really been using either of those guys, really, anyway. It's okay, because we need... Mantis God! Everything else is just kind of optional. Ah, uh, there's a fur trader up ahead. We don't have any cards. That's okay. That just means just means fewer cards in our deck, which is a great thing. I like you there. One. Oh, I know what you're going to paint. Come on, Mantis God. Oh. Oh, it's going to drop an egg there. Which... is okay. Because rather, regardless of what type of egg it is, it'll destroy it. Lucky here, we got a cat and a mantis god and a whole bunch of teeth. Yep, no pelts. Thank you. Yeah, I. I don't really care whether or not you like that I have teeth or not. Campfire, that's what we want. Another health one. Well, since the ringworm has search now, it's, I really don't care too much. I'd rather keep Mantis God alive. No. Another double totem? That might be worth doing. I'll have to double check the deck to see if there's any other cards we need to get rid of, but I don't think so. I think all our one costs. Oh, except for the flying ant. He could cause us trouble. I guess. Odom, bonfire. We're gonna. Ooh. Might be nice to get some. Another good chance for unkillable bugs. actually don't need the three blood. Block flying? Right. Well, at least that ant can be of use, though. If we draw it, then we can at least get him onto the board so we can get someone that's stronger out, too. Amber's definitely one of my least favorites here. Trying to do with this. 
I don't know. It doesn't matter what I was trying to do with it. I just need to end this. Oh, yeah, that's right. I wanted at least one pelt. of extra damage going on here. Part of me now wants to go buy some gold pelts, see if we can get some more mantis. Well, we got two good mantis gods. I don't know if we probably actually would hurt us to have, have others. many dire wolf pups oh we're already here okay what do we got gotta get rid of that flying ant flying where are we gonna get flying to oh we'll, we'll give it to a dire wolf pup got one in three chance of getting a flying when we draw get a dire wolf pup getting a flying dire wolf pup oh yeah I relish this moment too because your mole man's going down Good, that'll take care of his mantis god as well. And we are good to go. Yeah, you don't... You have nothing on us. Wait. Oh, they're normal. I got, <laughs> I got two of my three normal dire wolf pups. Flying when the enemies have no flying defense is just insane. But now you can see, though, this is kind of the idea what you'd want with your uh, Mantis God. Is. Oh, it's just gonna kill the wolf pup in one turn. Oh well. Let's just get this damage machine going. I have survived. Okay, so then it just becomes an unkillable mouse. I don't have a good way of summoning them. Oh, yeah, I do. Place one for the other. There. Get an extra one. I'm just gonna have infinite field mice. All right, field mice for the win. Just 
so quiet. There we go. Just, just for good measure. Mantis God, just do what you do. Well, that have been 11 teeth. But yeah. I think you guys can see just how, you know, how strong the Mantis deck is. Entry number six. Work on the mod continues. I was appalled to find that Leshy chose to use the Casey Hobbs ghoul skull as a trinket on his shelf. He fills it with teeth for the trapper after every boss. Kind of lame because it's tedious to keep getting up from the table just to collect the teeth. I'll have to hack that out. He'll hate me for it. Oh, her skull. This is Casey's journal. Ooh, new card. The Wolverine. When Wolverine attacks an opposing creature and it perishes, this card gains one power. That can also be... I, I did realize, though, that that power resets after battle, so it's not like Ouroboros where it permanently gains, but it's kind of like the longer the battle goes and the more opponents they defeat, the stronger they get. So still a valuable ability. Oh, boy. The Waterborne deck. Oh, yes. And the little squid guy. So he can turn it into any one. So after one turn, he turns into any of the three others, either the chime, mirror, or deck um, squids. Oh, single candle. Yes, the bane. Well, not the bane. There are worse challenges, but that one's a bad one. That is a tough one. So, all right. Let's just... Move on to challenge seven. Waterborne. All right. I need 70. Thing with those waterborne. But, you know, really, though, it's not the worst thing in the world because you don't have to use the starting cards for the whole, the whole game. See, this is where you're going to get a lot of restarts from that. But okay, if I do all totem, more challenge, but then I can keep keep my items. I don't know. Sometimes you got to play around. What challenges work well together? What works well for the deck? And then mostly, what does random luck have to say about what you're going to do? Because, uh, you know, honestly, luck is one of the biggest contributors. Here we go. Direwolf's pretty good. And... Raven's good. We need some damage dealers on the board. Since we don't know what kind of deck we're going to be really building here, we're going to just hold off. I guess we could start with a bird deck, but... At least, though, we got Direwolf here who can finish a boss phase in one turn. We set it up right. fly around. Totem fights are hard. Oh, it's a hand. We'll do this. Okay. Here we go. This will work, because that we're able to get a big hand early on. So there. We're able to deal enough damage. Yeah. The thing with the squid is he adds a large degree of randomness just to your hand, too. Totem or transfer? Transfer. 
probably want Totem. We need to figure out what our deck's gonna be. Unkillable. Oh, it's so useful. I need... Oh, there's a wolf. That will help with our dire wolf. Um, I really need... An unkillable geck would be great, but if I had an unkillable... Um, black goat, that would make me happy. Who are we going up against here? Wolf pump and rabbits. Doesn't matter because everybody is diving underwater. Now I'm going to be doing two to his four. That's not good. All right, now I'm doing three to four. It's not great. Okay, I can only survive two more turns. Just enough health. Now that was close. That was close. That was a little too close for comfort. All right, give me something good here. Well, it's not terrible, but I want to see Adder. Adder is nice. All right. No, I need items, but. No, I need items. I'll do items. There, black goat, handy, and flying. Uh, double bonfires. Flying wolf cub. No, because I'm not going to... It... Actually, I don't know why I'm wasting... Ah, I wasted that. I forget. I forgot I have two candles. I'm just so used to playing with one just over and over again. Having to worry about every single play. Ugh, wild boy. Not great. Okay. Offense... Now we're going to take Direwolf. Come on, help. Alright. Food? Yeah. How about you warm up my adder? I'm sure he'll be just comfy. Darn it. Ah. So we didn't poison the... Um, Settlers, darn. Okay. Oh, it's you. You are just awful. We're gonna put a stop to you real quick here, though. Damn 
damage on the board. Alright, not terrible. Alright, well, here, Wolverine, do your thing. A gruesome way to grow. Yes, indeed. Ah, uh, but you won't survive that wolf attack. That's okay. Yeah, that's okay. Did his job. out there. We'll take care of the coyote. Now I just need to be able to do three damage, which I can do with my raven. But we still have our dire wolf, so that means as long as we can get him on the board, we'll be good. We should be able to this turn. Alright, squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. Stop us now. We're too strong for you. Especially this late in the round with so many, so many bodies. At least that's one thing, is he helps generate a lot of bones. It really helps. Wow. Well, you know what, honestly? We got garbage one stars anyway, so why not another sparrow? That would be nice to get some of those search so we can get a dire wolf in our pack. Oh, I don't need another cockroach. Porcupine? Do I want porcupine on anyone? Th I'm gonna take the cockroach just in case. Yes. Slime, give my dire wolf a buddy. Triple attack? No. Ooh. Now he's a 5-5. Five five. All right. I guess I gotta make it through this totem fight before I worry about what's coming up next. Stinky bees. Not as bad as flying moose, but still, not great. Oh, the deck hand. All right, and he loses swim after that. Want you? I 
place you here. That grand fur, oh, it's gone now. Stinky insects, no! I can't. No, that's not gonna help me. So I might as well hold on to them. A stinky beehive. This. Why we want him? Strong direwolves. Very handy. Alright. We got items. Which we can use. Get rid of a card. Use an ability. need those items though. I just don't want to walk into a fight without an item. Well, we're gonna easily lose any of these, so might as well go with the offense. Got a lot of one, two, and oh, there we go. Somebody good? Sparrow that makes bones and undying. Flying ant dams. Ugh, that's not great. Or a bloodhound that makes an ant and bees. I got a lot of one blood, so I can at least get a bunch of them out on the board. Scissor! And a black goat! Alright, can I save these for... For the boss, though? That will be the trick. You know what? Take care of the black or the black goat there, and take care of this. Moving on. It was between the fan and the scissors that should get us through pretty much anything. Um, I want some golden furs. Ooh, or a knife. That would be better. Wait, oh, I was going to say. Okay. Not enough for a rare. That's okay. Alright. Oh, there's a fusion up there. So we can do double fusion. Either we're going to... Kingfishers, the cockroaches, or the dire wolf. Or the sparrow. Or the sparrow. Alright. 
go with Leonthus. An unkillable sparrow. Who will then... Uh, presuming I thought this through correctly, use that with the undying uh, sparrow, and then I just have... Got a free summoner. Oh! Yeah, this is. We're gonna lose this one. Good thing we won the others. Doesn't. It doesn't even matter. There we go. Even if, well, that's the thing though. You, you can't sacrifice uh, two blood for two blood. That would be super convenient. You just, you know, upgrade every turn. Alas, that is not how it works. Yeah, I hope for more too. Oh, all right, two bone. Feel nice. Sparrows. Sparrows. Yeah, I have victims for you. Sparrows. <sighs> yes, it's complete. Thank you. Ooh, and a bonfire. The health. All right. You know what? No, might as well. There we go. Just in case... Wait, is this map 2 or map 3? Map 2. Okay. Good. So... <laughs> so we have a chance for more bonfires, which means we can make our direwolf very strong. I forgot. You do that. Oh, but I didn't need to worry about that. And I really don't need to worry about this. Alright. You guys just go have fun. Maybe I could have gotten some more teeth, but that's okay. I already got the skinny knife. Alright, what do we got here? Another dire wolf? Cockroach. Turtle. I'm thinking... Thinking the mud turtle. At least we get a little bit of defense here. We got our dire wolf. We have two dire wolf attackers, and we got a bunch of support. So now, what we need is to shore up that defense a little bit. And if force comes to shove, we just trade them away for somebody else. I'm thinking... Corpse maggots. Since we don't have a, go a black goat... Okay, health. Who do I want health of? Oh, 
probably Dire Wolf. Just keep them on the board as much as possible. Great Kraken. Not so great in your first form. Um, I have two candles. I can survive. Photon battles are so hard. So hard. This, this that really is just a roll of the dice. Another dire wolf? No, give me something. A black goat. There we go. All right. Health. Who do I want to have some health? Kraken. One health, because that his one his attack can go up, but his health doesn't, so we kinda need him to stick around a little bit longer. Oh no. Death touch moose? Really? Play this carefully. Okay. At least that's going to get rid of the bull. Which it doesn't matter because our sparrow is going to save the day. Just having that little extra attack just really helps. Wolverine. Well, you're all terrible. Dire Wolf. Alright, who are we gonna sacrifice here? Who do we not need anymore? Don't need those kingfishers, they just get in our way. Good. Ooh, three damage right off the bat. Ah, this should do it. Oh boy. Survive. Now put me one point up. Yeah, we'll do this. Good. That's all we needed. Ooh, cutting that close. Mm -hmm. 
Thankfully, that <laughs> we got our five attack dire wolf. He can pull us out of any scrape as long as he gets both attacks in. Well, since we have the clover, might as well see what we got. Take another black goat. It's because we have so many dire wolves we need to get on the board. Especially after this. Gonna paint just like the master. That's great. All right, six nine. Man, our slime guy, he's really helping us out here. Bleach, nice. That worked out. Oh, the trapper. All right. out of our way. Can we survive another turn. got destroyed. Oh boy. Direwolf. Raven's blocking the adder, which works because we're now going to do five damage. Get us going into the next phase. A little close. Very close. Come on, something good. Okay. 
glad his best cards were up front. You know, I honestly don't know if I've ever grabbed cards from the back. It's usually it's just, you know, let me let me attack. All right, man. Block and bleach. Good. All right. Kind of wish. Well, we can make it work with these. They're all. They're all good. Actually, bleach and the fan combo is probably the strongest combination of items. Strongest dire wolf on our opening draw. That is what we need. Stump? Okay. Yeah, Stump's not gonna do anything about this. Yeah. Like I said. Army of squirrels are going to take care of this. Go! The squirrels were providing support for the dire wolf because you know you gotta employ, you gotta employ battle tactics when you're fighting for your life. All right, and we won! All right, entry number seven. Some nights I mod, some nights I dig. I dig deeper into this log pile and find things I sometimes wish I hadn't. This isn't just some disc Kaminsky used to vent his workplace frustrations. This is like some real shit. Every once in a while I get some context from the woodcarver and it's chilling. This could all be bunk, or there could be a doomsday machine under Berlin armed by a code hidden on a pack of cards. In other news, I just finished implementing the boss totems challenge. Thank you for that. <laughs> There's a bunker under, or doomsday machine under Berlin, armed by a code hidden on a pack of cards. So some, some kid in the middle of nowhere is going to open up this pack, get this code, not know anything to do with it, and the doomsday machine just sits empty? Ah, new cards. Oh, the raccoon. When he's on the board, opposing creatures also provide bones when perishing. Since bones are the worst thing ever, this is useless. I don't know how to pronounce that. Lammergeier? The power of Lammergeier is equal to half of the bones on, of the owner. Also, he will strike an opponent directly, even if there is a creature opposing. Oh, because he's flying. Could be useful, uh, especially if you have no bone creatures. So you're just stacking up bones like crazy. Oh, that's right. <laughs> and speaking of bones, we got the bone deck. So... Uh, thank you everyone for joining me. We'll end that one here and continue in another episode.